Good morning, it's Steven Zellnard here with Remax West Zellnard Associates. We did something different this year, and uh, I guess coming in from 2017 where the market kind of blipped, and, and going into 2018 we had to change a lot of things. Uh, we spent a lot of time on our business, time and money to improve it. And one of the, one of the, uh, the things we thought up was this, to send out a client survey to all our clients that we did business with and ask them, you know, honest opinion of how, how we treated them, how our service was, and give us some uh, constructive criticism and how to improve what we're doing. And what we did is we sent out uh, a letter, uh, anonymous, uh, sent out the letter with them with a return stamp to our address so it's, it's totally uh, anonymous so they could be real with their criticism if there was any. So we got a bunch of these back now and we're gonna read these um, uh, to you guys over the year. And let, let's just, you know, have a look at this, right? This, so this is a client survey and these are the grades. You know, if you kind of look, Kind of look at this, this is fantastic. They all look very similar, right? They're all questions and there's some, some uh, you know, they can write in their comments. And uh, this was very difficult for me, I gotta be honest, because you know, you, you think you go above and beyond, you think you're providing great service, but you don't know until you actually ask these questions and it can be sent back to an honest view to get you a true answer. So I'll go through some of these questions that they, they actually answer. So number seven was, did you have any expectations for me on the day of closing? And uh, they answered, Steve met all our expectations and more. We are very nervous about our purchasing a rental property, but he was there every step of the way answering all questions uh, all our questions any hour of the day, which is if you, if you dealt with me, we're on 24 seven, that's for sure. Uh, number 18 was a question that said, what would you say is one of the reasons you hired me? And uh, they answered, I felt from our first very conversation that I could trust Steve and he could relate to our life and the needs we, need, we had in purchasing a rental property. You can tell that he cares about his clients and wants to ensure they are happy, which is true. We definitely, we, Basically, our rule of thumb is we don't buy it. I won't buy it. We, we won't sell it if I won't buy it kind of thing if I won't attach my name to it. So everything when we do buy and sell, or especially when we're buying investment properties in this specific case, it's going to be something that's going to uh, benefit them in the future. Just like the Allison property I just uh, listed now where my clients will take out you know, over $200,000 for their retirement, which is great. So question 19 was, can you please list at least one thing I can change or implement in my service? And again, these are like really hard questions because nobody wants to hear the truth of this. And uh, they answered, honestly, I cannot think of one thing I would change. Steve has treated us more like friends and clients. I would trust him over and over again to sell or buy, which these are just amazing. Uh, this, it's so great to have clients like this, right? And then number 20 was, uh, what, would you, what would you like as a closing gift? And <laughs> they said nothing. The care and attention is, and not to mention time, is, is a gift enough. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Well, this is, this is just one of many, and uh, we're going to go through these over the year. We're going we're gonna to start processing these and, and reading them out because this is awesome. This reassures me as, as uh, we're doing our job properly, and, uh, and we're, we're definitely giving our clients the best attention, the best service needed, and especially you know, purchasing their largest investment, uh, being an investment, or ultimately purchasing their largest purchase in their life. So yeah, we like to handle these things definitely uh, very carefully. And again, guys, happy Monday. Let's, uh, let's have a great week. Have a good one. Ciao.